Hey, I'm Rebecca Powers with Sterling Lancaster Community Television here at Animal Shelter Inc. in Sterling with Melissa Snitzer, the shelter manager. And today she's going to tell us about house training. This is Martin. He's a beagle dachshund mix and he's about 12 weeks old. He is a male. He is definitely a bit shy but a very sweet puppy. He loves to explore and he will probably take a little bit of time to adjust in his new home but having another dog in the home might help him out. This is Rosie. She's a female lab hound mix and she's about six months old. She's pretty energetic and very friendly. She's playful, loves the toys, and she would probably love a hiking family. This is Ricky. He's a male Chihuahua and he's about two years old. He's extremely outgoing. He loves people. Um, he's very affectionate and he is definitely a lap dog. Will climb right up onto your lap and give you kisses. And Ricky is full grown. This is Vicky. She's a female lab mix and she's 12 weeks old. She's really sweet. She's gonna be a big dog when she's full grown, probably 70 pounds or more. She's very playful. She loves the toys, uh, friendly, and would make a great family pet.
This is Huck. He's a male Australian Shepherd mix and he's five months old. He's extremely friendly, very lovey. Uh, he is energetic, so he will need an active family uh, to keep his energy levels uh, in check. What kind of information do you have for us on house training? So a lot of the animals, especially dogs and puppies that we adopt out here from the shelter uh, are younger and may not be house trained. So we have a couple of tips for people who are bringing home a dog or a puppy that's not house trained. Um, first and foremost, before you bring home a dog that is not house trained, you want to look at your schedule. Uh, if you are working eight hours a day and the dog would be home alone eight hours a day, the house training is going to be incredibly difficult for you. So check, uh, you know, make sure you have someone that can come over and walk your dog a couple times a day or do doggy daycare or something like that. Um, because as a puppy or a dog that is not house trained, they will have to go outside and go to the bathroom probably every one to two hours. Um, and if they're not able to get out that often to to go to the bathroom, then your house training, training is going to take a very long time and it's going to be very difficult. So make sure that you have a good schedule before you bring home an unhouse trained dog. Uh, secondly, we highly recommend crate training for your dog or puppy. Um, most of the time, <clears throat> excuse me, puppies are really accepting of a crate because uh, you're starting when they're young and you make you put a bed in there and maybe a hard toy uh, and you make it a comfortable area for them and they're in there whenever you can't watch them or when uh, say your house is maybe kind of crazy you have people over and you just want to kind of give the puppy a time out to settle down and get away from all the chaos for a little bit you can use your crate for that so if you're using a crate for training a puppy most of the time they can stay in the crate for two to three hours without having to go to the bathroom. Um, but especially in the beginning, you don't want to leave your dog or puppy in there longer than they can hold their bladder for. Uh, the whole concept be behind crate training is that they try not to go to the bathroom while they're in their pen because it's their, you know, their clean bed area um, and they don't like to get it dirty. So if you're going to crate train, make sure that you are getting them out often and only using it when necessary. Um, and then along with kind of getting your dog out when you're outside with the dog and they do go to the bathroom outside, you want to praise them, um, use a lot of positive reinforcement, have treats on you, uh, give them a treat. Um, pet them, act like it's the best thing in the world uh, when they go to the bathroom outside. Um, and then it kind of gives them the idea that they would like to do that again so that they can get that positive attention from you again. Um, and a lot of times when you're bringing home a puppy, maybe not necessarily an older dog, uh, there will be some accidents in the house. So be prepared for that. Uh, just make sure you have your cleaning products ready. Um, and when a puppy has an accident in the house, if you are right there while it's happening, you can try to kind of whisk the puppy outside and praise the puppy when it finishes outside. Or if you kind of lose sight of the puppy for a few minutes and the puppy pees in the house and you just sort of discover the pee, uh, there's not really too much you can do other than clean it up. Um, you don't want to bring the puppy over and scold them. Uh, or things like that because it really has uh, more of a negative effect than a training effect. Um, and uh, one last thing that you can do is 
uh, limit your dog or puppy's water intake about an hour or so before you plan to go to bed. Um, a puppy will probably have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, so you should be prepared for that. Uh, but if you take away water a little bit before bedtime, uh, that can help with uh, lessening the trips outside that you have to make in the middle of the night.